you'll need a cable, pulley and some dumbbells for this next program. Working some push-ups for this exercise and we're getting some assistance from the bench just to create a little bit of elevation and this will make the push-up fairly easy. Just make sure you're cautious enough not to tip the bench over. Your turn to try this one. Using the tip of the bench for some triceps dips for this exercise. Now you can see I'm doing it with straight legs so that I can't cheat. And you've just got to make sure that your butt stays really close to your hand. We don't want to cause any excess pressure in the rotator cuffs. Your turn to try this one. Dumbbell chest press for this exercise. So you want to make sure you start off with your lower back pinned right up against the bench. So you want to make sure it doesn't arch up. And then you're going to bring your arms down nice and wide. Elbow to elbow should be a straight line. And then you're going to press up in a nice vertical thrust. Very important to have control over your movement. Your turn to try it. Let's go.
seated shoulder press. Now, it's really important to start this one with a very solid base. So you want to make sure you've got ample weight on your feet. You've got to make sure that your legs are apart enough so that they're nicely supported. And then you want to push up and really maintain your spine. Keep neutral spine throughout this. Um, push up with your hands until you've got the dumbbells all the way up with soft straight elbows and then return them with your elbows dropping by your side. Your turn to try this one. This exercise is a chest press that starts from a neutral hand position with your elbows tucked in and on the way up it rotates into what looks like a regular chest press. Now make sure your back is pinned right up against the bench when you do this and it's a vertical push up. Your turn to try it.
traditional lateral raise for this exercise. So seated on the bench with a neutral spine, nice sturdy base, and we're just lifting into these lateral delts raises with your wrists nice and straight and perfectly lateral movement. Now we're just gonna go slightly above shoulder height and we're gonna stop there and then we're gonna return at the negative nice and slow. Your turn to try this one. L-shaped deltoids rotation. This is an excellent rehab technique for the rotator cuffs. It's excellent for strengthening that region. So you want to make sure that your elbows are pinned by your side, by your ribs. And all it is is just a 90 degree rotation. You can allow the dumbbells to meet each other in the middle and then just use your range and use your flexibility to rotate out. Your turn.
pull over from a supine position for this one. So you can see I've got an eyelet grip going as far as holding the dumbbells concerned. And then I'm keeping my arms relatively soft straight to really emphasize on the triceps. Now, if you bend your arms a little bit more, it's going to give you more emphasis on your chest. So there is a variation. Your turn to try it. Seated upright rows for this one. So you can see I've got a wide base for this one, nice and wide on the legs, and I'm leaning marginally forward. And from here, I'm just allowing the weights to drop in front of me and then picking them up using my elbows. So your elbows are leading the action. Your turn to try this one.
triangular delta rays for this one. So we're starting with front delts raise with neutral hand position and then maintaining that hand position and pulling right out lateral and just dropping it back down. So we're just creating that triangle, which is a great uh, deltoids complex. Let's get you to have a go at this one. Well done for getting through your workout today guys. Let's take a moment to stretch and cool our body back down now. Comment and let us know what you thought of today's workout and remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the latest workouts.